David Lutalo is an Afropop Ugandan vocalist, a musician and a songwriter. He is most popular among rural and urban Ugandans mostly because of his high-toned and distinctive voice. He was born on the 12th of September in 1989 to Robinson Luja and Mastula Nasazi in the suburbs of Luwelo district. He was raised in a well-disciplined and religious family with his father as a born-again Christian and his mother as a Muslim. He attended Chikunyu Primary School and later joined Balitaluoji Primary School where he attained his primary living examination certificate. He then joined Kasana Town Academy Luelo where he attained his Uganda Certificate of Education. Thereafter, David went to Busisa Grammar for his A-level, although he did not complete his education due to financial problems. David's passion for music goes way back from when he was still in school, for reports shows that most of the songs that he released when he had just joined the music industry, he recorded when he was still in school. He wrote and composed them himself while he was still a student. Some of his songs were Bat Sosola and Kapapala, which he composed from school when he was still a student. When he finally joined the music industry, he started with a humble beginning, struggling to raise money to take him to the recording studio, but fortunately, he was able to capture Uganda's music audience with his unique and sharp voice. His first breakthrough song was Kapapala, which he released in 2007, and it was a big success. In this song, he was describing a beautiful woman who is physically endowed with a unique physique. The song reached all corners of the country, and he has since then become one of the most favorite musicians in Uganda. His music is mostly popular because he sings about day-to-day -day happenings of society. One would say his music is not only interesting, but also inspiring and educational. This probably explains why he has received great success in his music journey. He has released many songs over the years that have captured Uganda's attention. Some of the songs are Waja Tugenda, Yamba, Magumba, Faraway, It Zote, and many, many more. He has also done a lot of very successful collaborations with different musicians like Solista Shaba, with whom they did the hit song called Mile, Mubi Wubi, which he did with Maru, and many other songs. His music is loved by both the young and the old, from the city and those in rural areas, most especially because of his inspirational songs like Waje Tugenda, in this song where he was criticizing the moral decay in Uganda's society, Mbwaye Katwe, where he was sarcastically sensitizing people about HIV, and see why he was talking about the, the immorality in society. In Mumba Zange, a lament about death, to mention but a few. David believes that his talent is a gift or a calling from God, through which he's meant to inspire people. And this one cannot deny, for his music is truly an inspiration to many. He has also done a couple of gospel songs like Ai Mukama, Mukama Kusimbiabidi, and many more, and all these have been hit songs throughout the country. David has been recognized and nominated and has won various awards on various occasions. For instance, in 2015, his song Manya won him the MTN Callback Tone on the monthly awards. In 2016 and 17, he won several awards at the High People Awards. In 2019, 
He received over six nominations at the High People Awards as the best male artist at the High People and the Decade Afro Tunes lyricist, to mention but a few. Apart from his commitment to his music, David is also a devoted family man, married to Shalon Walukaga, with whom they have two children, a boy and a girl. Although the couple has had some challenges over the years, they are still together strong and happy in marriage. He chooses to keep his family private and off the media. The simple soft-spoken David is not affiliated to any political agenda, and he chooses to stay away from politics to concentrate on his music. David's unique vocals and lyrical maturity have made him adored by different lovers of music from all parts of the country. It is therefore not surprising that he has been often approached by different big companies to work as brand ambassador. For instance, the MTN Uganda and AfriSale so as to help market their products. David still runs the Ugandan airwaves, both on radio and TV stations, and has appeared on several interviews, mostly because of his unique character and his special music. It is not clear of how much his net worth is, but most of his income comes from being successful in music. He also owns a music label called Dubbed Da Hairs, and this also generates income for him. On top of all the other companies that he has worked for as a brand ambassador, he was also part of the Centenary Bank's Kwasa Center visa campaign, where he was campaigning for them as a brand ambassador for the visa campaign. His net worth is therefore estimated to be over 250,000 US dollars as of the year 2021. Although he was struggling when he first started to make music, hustling to get money to record, He's now currently one of the most richest and famous Ugandan musicians in the country. He therefore encourages the youth and those who feel like joining the music industry to believe in themselves and have hope for eventually things to get better.